Alright, so this video I'm just going to be talking about starting up on the schematic. Um, obviously, it's going to be pretty complicated, but since this entire uh, circuit, this entire device is going to be based off of the Intersil ICL 7106 Auto or A to D converter, um, you know, good place to start is Datasheet. So, um, it's not too new, 2005. Uh, this chip's been around since the 60s or 70s. It's it's really old, really reliable, and it's still pretty useful. So obviously there's a lot of stuff going on in here. It's just good to know some information, um, especially for here. Um, this is where we're going to start for this video. Like I was saying, we want to, well, I want to make this a uh, completely surface mount circuit. So... Obviously, you got to look at the packages that this chip comes in. Uh, unfortunately, you know, surface mount and uh, other packages have a lot of acronyms. Um, basically, you got here like 40 lead plastic dual inline package. It means there's 40 pins on it, and it's made out of plastic, and the pins are arranged in two lines, and basically. That's all there is to it. Um, these other ones are, you know, 44 lead M. Who knows? I don't. I don't remember exactly what that is. But quad flat package means that it's uh, it has leads on four sides, so 11 leads on each side, four sided. Flat package is just the type of package it is. It's uh, just kind of flat surface mount. Um, generally, if you go to the very, oh, maybe not the very end, but here we go. Um, they have schematic drawings of what they look like. So these are the plastic dual inline packages, and this is the quad flat package. So this is this is the surface mount package here that I want to be using. So first things first, look up a part number for these. Uh, the part numbers will actually vary by manufacturer, so we're going to go over here to our schematic drawing, and we're going to look for a part. Um, in this case, I've already pulled up Maxim's part list, and uh, they're 7106CQH. Um, as you can see, it's QCCJ44, again, acronym, crazy, don't know what it means, but... Quad, uh, actually, it's quad chip carrier J leads, 44 of them. So that's exactly what we want, basically. You know, there you go. You got schematic symbol and a PCB footprint, which is exactly what we want because this is a service mount footprint. So we're gonna go ahead and add this into our schematic. So the first thing that comes up is our schematic symbol, since we're working in the schematic. All right. So now we have our big old big old block that includes everything on there. You know, this tells us what each pin does. Uh, here's, you know, power connections, back plane, no connection, various LCD connections, blah 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 inputs. I'll get into more detail on these later. But um so this is the basis for our entire circuit. And the other major component that we need to add is our LCD, which um, I showed you I made in the last uh, video. If I can find it. Okay, that's interesting. Well, anyways, I know where it is here. So... Oops. Uh, Alright, that's definitely not what I want to do. But, uh, okay, add part. Hmm. Now, where, where, where did it go? <laughs> so, I don't see... Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm just being silly. Alright, so, again, we've got our part. 
we've got our schematic representation of our part and we have a you know a PCB footprint for our part so we can add this in here and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, flip this around if I can there we go flip so all the pins are kinda on the other side because all of the LCD connections are basically gonna be going from this part of this schematic into the various parts of here. So now we've started the schematic and soon we will start wiring them up.